This video on EasyLobby SVM 10.5 demonstrates how to generate reports in eAdvance. eAdvance can generate customized reports showing the status of all past, present, and future visitors. The list of host employees available for selection depends on your system privileges. If you are an administrator, you can select any employee in the EasyLobby database. If you are a gatekeeper of any type, you can select host employees only within your company, site or department according to your approver level defined in EasyLobby SVM. The list displayed is also affected by the eAdvanced Gatekeeper filter setting. If you are set up in the system as an individual, you can only select yourself. The status drop-down menu is a means of filtering the report based on a visitor's current status, such as checked in or pre-registered. Choosing all will display visitors regardless of their current status. The filter checkbox enables searching for a host employee to be performed by typing the complete name or a part of it. When you press enter or hit search, a list of matching names appears in the host list. Using the filter can be faster than scrolling through the complete list of host employees. You can also enter multiple search items separated by spaces. For example, entering IAI, AIG, VA will match anyone with these strings in their name. If the filter checkbox is deselected, the search field disappears and all host employees are displayed in the host list. The host list allows selection of the host employee or employees whose visitors are to be included in the report. Click a name in the list to select a host employee. If you are an administrator or gatekeeper and wish to include visitors for several employees in the report, hold down the control button and select additional employees or the shift button to select a block of employees. If you do not select a host, none is displayed and the report will be empty. Use the report functions in EasyLobby SVM to see visitors who have not been assigned a host. Valid from selects the beginning of the reporting period. Clear the checkbox to include all visits up to the valid to time. Valid to selects the end of the reporting period. Clear the checkbox to include all visits up to the current time. The Report Columns area is used to choose which fields to include in the report. Hold the Control button down to select multiple individual fields or the Shift button to select a block of fields. Click Submit to create the report. The visitors that match the specified criteria are listed. Click Export Visible to save the currently displayed page of results to a CSV file or click Export All to save a complete multi-page report. The generated CSV file can be opened in Microsoft Excel or any text editor. Please note that reports are only available if using SQL Server or Microsoft Access for the EasyLobby database. Reports are not available if using Oracle. Also, be aware that reports are not available if the admin, product config, security, authentication method is set to no authentication. If the exported CSV file is opened in Microsoft Excel on another computer, the date and time format may be different to that used on the server hosting eAdvance. This is because Excel uses the local Windows system date and time format to interpret dates, which are stored as text in a CSV file. Consider a CSV file containing a US month, day, year date format such as 4-23-2019. If the CSV file is opened on a Windows system using a European day, month, year date format, Excel will interpret the date as being invalid since the month value is greater than 12 and so will display the original plain text. If a date appears to be valid, for example 4-8-2019, Excel converts it to the local Windows system date and time format.
This could also cause AM or PM to be removed from time values. To avoid these issues, the CSV file can be imported as text which will prevent Excel interpreting the data. To do this, open a new worksheet in Excel. On the Data ribbon, click From Text. Locate the CSV file and click Import. The Text Import Wizard is displayed. On the first page of the wizard, click Next. In the Delimiters area, clear Tab and select Comma and then Next. In the Column Data Format area, select Text and then Finish. In the Import Data window, leave the location set to $A $1 and select OK. Under Visitor History Report, all visits made by an individual can be displayed. Reports can only be created relating to visitors for which you have access rights. The Visitor Search field is used by entering full or partial visitor names. Multiple search strings should be separated by spaces. The Entries From and Entries To checkboxes enable date and time constraints to be applied to the report. The Report Columns list is used to select what information is to be included in the report. Hold the Control button down to select multiple individual fields or the Shift button to select a block of fields. Click Submit to create the report. The visitors that match the specified criteria are listed. Click Export Visible to save the currently displayed page of results to a CSV file, or Export All to save the complete report. Please note that if you have a very large number of visitors in the database, for example 1,000 or more, Google Chrome may become slow to populate the visitors list. Using an alternative browser such as Firefox or Internet Explorer can solve this issue.